In today's quick video, let's talk about kava. Let's dive in. Kava is also known as Piper methysticum, and it is a plant that's traditionally native to the Western Pacific Islands, and it has many traditional uses from this part of the world. When using this plant, we're often using the root, the rhizome, and the stem, and it's often used either as a beverage or as a extract with something like a tincture. And you can also find kava in capsules as well. Now, it's a bit unclear. There are some reports that kava can cause some liver toxicity, but the studies I've seen were unclear if it was actually due to the kava itself or if there was some other cause. But th generally, this is one that I'll use for short, short term just to be safe and in lower doses. The active constituent that's responsible for many of the effects of kava are called kava lactones. And these kava lactones have been shown to be helpful, especially in things like anxiety, which is probably one of the biggest uses for kava, that and insomnia. Most of the research shows dosages of 150 to kind of 400, 500 milligrams. And most supplements are going to be standardized with this 70% of these kava lactones. Again, I mentioned it's often used for anxiety and we're actually not quite sure what the mechanism is behind kava's ability to help with symptoms of anxiety. This herb does tend to have some sedative-like effects. And some of the research indicates that it may be that kava is, or these kava lactones are acting on the GABA system, which is more of an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Because of some of its sedative-like effects, we also see kava being used for things like insomnia and often even as a muscle relaxant as well. This is one of those supplements where you wanna be really careful with your dosing and you don't want to go and operate heavy machinery after taking a dosage of kava, again, because of those sedative-like effects. So how do I use kava in practice? I tend to actually use this one more in my in-office practice. A lot of times I actually tend to use it as a tincture and I will mix it with other anxiolytic herbs using a very small percentage of kava itself. And this is because the research that I've seen is a little bit unsure about its hepatotoxicity or its effects on the liver. And I rather err on the side of caution. And again, it's one of those things that I will use for short term. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any experience with using kava or anything you'd like to share about this herb. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.